Hello, social sciences students. My name is Rosanna and I work for IFSA, a nonprofit study abroad organization. I'm here to share how social sciences students can go abroad and have an amazing experience. There are lots of reasons to go abroad, from learning a language to exploring a different culture to getting a fresh perspective on your academic major and just to spend time somewhere totally different from where you normally live. But there's another important reason for social sciences students to go abroad. Nowadays, it's very likely that social sciences professionals will work on international teams, whether in education or academia. The global perspective and cross-cultural communication skills you gain through an undergraduate study abroad experience will help set you apart from your peers, and this is especially important when you're applying for jobs or graduate school in the future. Now that I've briefly talked about why you should go abroad, here's a heads up about what else I'll cover in this webcast. I will mention the social sciences disciplines that IFSA offers, how to find your classes abroad, examples of IFSA programs, and how you can get more information. So let's jump in. So, what social sciences majors can do IFSA programs? Well, with the broad variety of options that IFSA offers, all of them can. IFSA has programs all around the world at excellent host institutions with social sciences majors in both English-speaking and non-English-speaking countries. You choose a destination. All social sciences majors are welcome. Anthropology, sociology, political science, international relations, economics and finance, history, you name it. While you're abroad, you can take requirements for your major alongside general education requirements. On the IFSA website, you can find a searchable course database called Chart, where you can log in and search for classes offered abroad that are, have been taken by recent IFSA students. You can search for classes by title or academic discipline, or even just do a search to see what types of classes are commonly offered on specific study abroad programs. There are thousands of listings to explore. And if you cannot find what you need, you can submit a request in the system, and if the staff will look for classes on our programs and let you know if, any, if there are any options for you. The IFSA Professional Program Advisors are also a wonderful resource. They work closely with all students who apply to our programs. One other thing to keep in mind is that with IFSA, you can take advantage of extra experiential learning options while you are abroad. Many students will replace an elective class with a credit-bearing research experience or an internship in order to further boost their resume while abroad. Now I'm going to switch gears and show you examples of programs in different regions of the world that are great for social sciences students. IFSA has programs all around the world. I'm just going to highlight a few options for social sciences students. If there's a particular city, country, or region that interests you, get in touch with IPSA and we can find the right fit. Let's start with Europe, where you have some great options for political science and sociology in English as part of our IPSA Study in Rome program in Italy. In England, the IPSA Study in London program features classes such as Race and Class in London, Global Politics of Health and Disease. If you're interested in Latin America, you will need some Spanish language to enroll at our IPSA partner institutions, but you'll have the opportunity to study alongside your Latin American peers and really broaden your future opportunities in any social science-related field. For example, the Chilean University program in, in Santiago or Valparaíso has many social sciences classes, and some of them are taught in English. A couple of popular classes are Human Rights in Latin America and Political and Social Change in Chile. In Cuba, you can build on your Spanish language skills and take advantage of the amazing opportunity to enroll at Universidad de La Habana alongside Cuban peers. If the students pick classes like Marxist-Leninist philosophy and Afro-Caribbean studies. In Peru, you can enroll at the top-ranking Pontificia Universidad Católica de Peru, and you will experience a city by the sea that spans 5,000 years of history while taking classes such as Amazonian ethnography or archaeological prospecting. In Australia, you can explore options such as the IFSA University of Wollongong Partnership in Australia. And in China, consider our IFSA Study Abroad in Shanghai program. In Australia, you can choose from social science classes such as Aboriginal Community Engagement in the Education Department or Agriculture and Resources Policy. And in China, you can take classes in English such as Chinese Society in the 21st Century and Contemporary Chinese Politics, State Party People. These are just a few highlights of IFSA programs where social sciences majors can find the classes they need. Now that you're interested in going abroad, what should you do next? To see details about the programs I highlighted and also explore other opportunities, visit the IFSA website. You will find program details, scholarship information, and you can use our great search tool called Global Wayfinder. 
Global Wayfinder lets you search for programs by criteria like academic major, program semester, and location. But it also lets you narrow things down further by available activities and day-to-day -day living experiences such as hobbies you'd like to explore while abroad. You can even search for programs with career stepping stones if you'd like to find a program that allows you to pursue an internship or research as part of your time abroad. You should also think about what classes you want to take while abroad. Go to the ITSA website and use our Chart Searchable Course database to explore the classes you might take while on an ITSA program. In the system, you can access class descriptions and sometimes syllabi, which will be great to show to your academic department as you prepare to go abroad. Lastly, if you haven't already done so, check out your home campus study abroad website to learn about the policies and application process for going abroad. It's especially important to talk with them about the IPSA programs that your campus uses. Some universities and colleges send their students on all IPSA programs, and some pick and choose which IPSA programs they prefer their students attend. Now is also a great time to contact your academic advisor and let them know that you want to include a study abroad program in your degree plan. I hope this has been helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in an IPSA program.